from dreading going in. Oh, we've got him, Mum. We've got to see psychiatrist. I feel better when you see him. And Jimmy. And he's back on the tablets, isn't he? Well, they've given him something. They said he was settled when I found out. What about the kids? Diane's got them. But you take your time at the hospital. I'll collect them and finish work. <sighs> Come on, Mum. Have you seen anything of Susanna today? Me? No. Why? I was just wondering whether they had a nice time last night. I really enjoyed having them around. Did you? Yeah, I made a change. I think they make a really sweet couple. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? Is it? I mean, do you want to be some sort of authoritarian husband whose word is law? I don't want them to go to private school, that's all. Your own daughter went to private school. Oh, yeah, and I took her out. I just don't believe in it. That's because you thought the head teacher was racist. I know she was a racist. Well, that won't apply to Harry and Emma. Oh, no, it wouldn't, would it? Nice white middle class kids with no worries. My daughter's black, and the whole system came down on her. You took her out of that school. Because she was the scapegoat. The black scapegoat. Oh, don't be ridiculous. For oh, God's sake, you're as bad as that teacher. All this private school stuff, it, it reinforces prejudices. Class, colour, rich, poor, everything. Oh! So true, Susanna. And I hate myself for falling for it. If I hadn't been so busy trying to live up to the white middle classes, send her off on holiday and weekends away, and I'd have been there for my own daughter. No. What you're saying is as bad as any colour prejudice. Just because you have one bad experience, you think the whole public school system is beneath contempt. You're the one who's got a chip on your shoulder. You're the one who's prejudiced. It's not prejudice. It's fact. I can't believe you're being so stupid. Are you sure this isn't about money? Me spending my money on my children's education? There's always going to be our money. It's enough. It's the truth! Oh. Good afternoon, Mr. Corporal's fan. Ah. Well, before you see Mr. Corkill, there's one or two things we need to talk about. Do you know what's wrong with him? Well, it's too early for a formal diagnosis, but it's obvious to me your husband is severely depressed. Depressed? <laughs> Don't you think we've known that for months? Yes, but... And what about all this section and stuff? What does that mean? You're going to just keep him in here for a few weeks and then chuck him out? No, no, Mrs. Corkill, that's not how it works. Well, how does it work? I mean, Dad could have killed himself on that roof. To do it again if he doesn't get better. Well, I can assure you, he's in very good hands. It's too late. I know this has been an anxious time for you. He's a married man. He's got a young son. What if he'd have jumped off the roof and killed himself, eh? Think of all the consequences, all because he was left waiting to get help. Have you asked him why he tried to kill himself? It's too early for that. We have to monitor his medication, try and get him stabilised. Well, for the moment, I need you to tell me a little more about him. Dad? Yeah? Where's Rachel and the baby? Anthea's sucked the little one down to her sister's and Rachel's working. Do you want a cup of... No, sir. Look, I don't like the working for great grannies, you know. Well, the money's not bad, you know, Mike. And she's only trying to help herself. Yeah, but it's not what we want. Yeah, but if needs must... I, I want to provide the best for them. I mean, having a wife and a baby, it's good for me. Yeah, well, I can see that. Yeah, but we need to be out of here. Yeah, but there's no worry, is there, son? Look, I've got my first video job coming up, Mick and Susanna's wedding. I've advertised it. A couple more of them under my belt and we'll be able to go. Yeah, well, that's great, but don't think I'm pushing you. We need to make our own way, Dad. Yeah, well, good on you, son. That's how you feel. I do. Why did you do it, Bob? Why did you want to do away with yourself? I know things have been hard for you, but that... You've got a family. You've got a little boy. Were things so bad that you'd do something like this to us? Why won't you answer me? Don't push him, there. I want him to talk to me. Oh, don't you think you should give him time, like the doctor said? Don't you think he owes us an explanation? Why did you do it, Jimmy? Don't you care about us? Say something! 
Jimmy! Just leave it, Mum. And his wife. Why won't you talk to me? Why won't you talk to me, Jimmy? Why won't you talk to me? Why are you being like this? Where are you going? Anywhere, I don't care. I can't stay here when he's like this. I'm going to get some fresh air or something. I'll stay with him. Hey, Will. Hey, Kylie. Hey, yeah. How have you been? As good as gold. You haven't heard from Jackie? No. According to the daughter, she's really cut up about it, poor woman. Fancy trying to top yourself. Anyway, Kylie's helped me make a big pan of scouse in case they've got to stop for the tea, haven't you, love? Yeah. Thanks. Where's Aunt? In the garage, making a Guy Fawkes. <laughs> I've been threatening that for a week. Don't knock it, it's keeping him quiet. Can I make a Guy? Of course you can. Come on, Will. There's a good lad. Off you go. Poor kids. I bet they're wondering what's happening. That'll be Jackie, I suppose. Hello, Can I come in? Yeah, come oh, good. Oh, I hope I'm not disturbing you. Oh, it's okay. Mommy knows Susanna Anderson across the way. Of course I do. We met at the barbecue. Oh, yeah. So, well, it's been a nightmare, you know, organising this wedding. But at last, I've found a picture of a hairstyle I really like. Oh, Emma. Oh, yeah. Emma, what I you like that. Do you? You're Harry, Harry, come away from there. He's all right. Do you think it'll suit me? I oh, think so, yeah. But Harry, for goodness sake, I've told you. Harry. Come on, be a good boy, please. Oh, just all little horrors at this age, aren't they? Harry's just the bane of my life at the moment. Um, I'll leave the magazine with you. Sorry to interrupt. Come on now, you naughty boy. Pick your feet up, Emma. Bye. Bye. Did you see that? She must not drink on her. Some people don't deserve to have children dragging him like that. Jackie's so mad. Jackie? Jackie, you know, the girl that's the elf club. Oh, yeah. Well, she had Harry and gave him to Susanna. Yeah, Dad. Drink up. Come on. I think you can manage a cup of tea. I know my mum's angry, but all she wants to know is why you did it and what you think made you ill. Little Kylie keeps asking me what's wrong with you. I wish I really knew. to try and talk. The sooner you can get your head together, the sooner you can get out of here. Can't you see that? Jackie's really worried about Harry. She's convinced Susanna's neglecting him. From what I saw, she'd got good reason. Poor Jackie. I really feel sorry for her. The more I think about it, the more I understand. We're both surrogate mothers. We both have the same pain. How do you mean? Well, I've got three kids, but all I want is to be pregnant and then have a baby. Jackie's done the pregnancy and the birth, but now all she wants is to be a mother. You could look at it like that. Yeah. Some women would say I was selfish, I suppose. I've already brought up three kids. And they'd have no right. You've given those three kids everything since you married Marty. I'm still scared of losing them. You're their mother. They know that. And they love you. Sometimes I worry about Jan coming back and taking them away. That's not going to happen. I know it sounds stupid, but I can't help thinking about it. Maybe that's why I'm so obsessed about having one of my own. Oh, it's not an obsession, love. It's a natural urge. But is it selfish? Of course it's not. Why shouldn't you have a baby of your own? No one can say you didn't love those kids of Marty's. You're just insecure about Jan. Any woman would understand that. It's all I want. It's all I ever wanted after I had my miscarriage. Every minute of the day I thought about having a baby. And then I got you. You've been the beat of my heart, love. You're precious. And when I have my grandchild, he or she will be precious to both of us.
Right, um, I'd better get back to work. Will you be okay, Dad? Someone will be in to see you tomorrow. You've got the old to come. I remember when I got married. I thought it would be happy ever after. Wasn't that? Oh, more mixed up than I ever was. I think your daddy wants to live happy ever after. <laughs> the drunk me and me could end up together. I'd be a good daddy to you, but oh, I need more than that. Perhaps if Darren has. You ready to eat? Oh, can we um, put it on hold for a bit and make a drink first? Okay. Um, I've got to make a phone call about my dress for Suzanne's wedding anyway, so... Isn't it wrong to drink on an empty stomach, Doctor? I'm making an exception for myself. <laughs> Aren't you having one? No, I'm cutting down. This is one of my alcohol-free days. You have a bad day? Something like that. What's wrong? You look right. Oh, it's work. I'm fine. You need to relax. You can have a better way than drinking. You're going to come and get something? In a minute. Are you all right? I'm really worried about Harry. I'm sure it's not drink on Susanna's breath. She didn't seem drunk. I know, but the way she dragged him like that. Oh, it's horrible, I know, but what can we do? We've no proof she's a bad mother, have we? All right, Dad. Hello. All right, son. What are you doing home? I just thought I'd come back and check on Rachel and Beth. Yeah, well, Anthony is putting Tiny to bed. Rachel's not back yet. Why, are you joking? Well, she's had a bit of trouble getting the key, you know. She'll be back soon. Oh, this is mad. She's been out all day. I can't have her doing this, you know, Dad. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, son, but we're a bit short on staff this week. I think what she's earned. Yeah, I know, but it's not what she wants. Out of this. Oh, come on, me and Rach get along fine, and at least she's making some money, isn't she? Which is getting you a step nearer to having your own place. Yeah, I suppose so. Hello, 
Maybe we should go somewhere more comfortable. Neither, you're not on call. Just take a minute. Well, whoever it is, get rid of them. <coughs> Hello? Oh, thank heavens you're there. Um, it's Harry. Um, uh, uh, he's got a temperature. I, I think he needs to see a doctor. Um, well, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not on call tonight. Um, but if you've got a pen, I can give you a number. No, I, I, I don't want a, a number. I want you to see him. Well, um, well, it's not really the done thing. I, you, we've got a, a locum for a second. He knows you. Um, I know, but... Sure, he's coming to the reception. I'm not an exception. I... Hi, it's Anna, it's Oh, please, tell him to come. Yeah, he'll, he'll be there as soon as possible. Yeah, I need, I need him here. I'll make sure he leaves now. Okay, bye. Thanks. Should have phoned the look. Yeah, but she's a friend and we can't just turn around and pop her off. I'll be back as quick as possible. Well, come with you. No, don't be ridiculous. You've been drinking. I can walk. Well, it's cold. I'll drive you. It's fine. It's no problem. Just leave it to me. Look, she sounded really upset. I think I should come with you. Right. I think it's time for bed. I want to see my mum and nan. There's no school in the morning. Hmm. Okay. Five minutes more then. Hiya. Hi. Hey, Mom. Hiya. Aren't you in bed yet? Can you read me a story? Sweetheart, I'm really, really tired. Can you not read one yourself? I'll tell you what. If you go up now, I promise I'll come and read to you. Okay. Give us a kiss. Okay. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs> Won't be long. Oh, so is Jackie still with your dad? No. <laughs> Isn't she back here? No. Mm -hmm. She got upset with my dad and gone off, but that was hours ago. Where is she? Darren, and Kevin's here. He has a bit of a fever. Hi, I hope you don't mind me being here. Poor Harry, how is he? Where is he? Well, I think I may have overreacted a little. He seems fine now. He's actually fast asleep. So perhaps it might have been a good idea to wait before calling me. Well, I'm sorry to have bothered you. I'd better give him a check-up on him here. No, there's no need. Excuse me. He sees asleep. What's going on? Oh, stop it. No, you still want me. I know you still have feelings for me. You've got it all wrong. Oh, you told me last night. You've been drinking. And it makes me want you even more. Do you think we should bring the police along? I don't know. Where have you been, Mum? You've had me worried to say. Been walking. Oh, why didn't you just phone up? Just let me know where you were. Mm. Sorry. I went into town and got the bus to the old Corpy estate. Just been walking. What'd you go there for? That's where our first home was. We were happy then. Um, I'm, um, I'm tired. I just need to go to bed. Oh, you must be starving. Let me get you something. I'm not hungry. I just want to sleep. I'll take you up, Mum. Lindsay. Shall I just fetch you something out? I mean, a cup of tea or something? No, thanks. I don't know how she can cope with it all. <sighs> She's not coping. Nor am I. Hi. 
Where's Susanna? She's upstairs with Darren. Um, little Harry wasn't so good, so she called Darren out and I drove him around. Is he all right? Yeah, I think so. Oh. Mm. I'll go down and get rid of her. Look, this is madness. You're getting married next week and I love Victoria. You don't. I do. No. How is he? He's, uh, he's dropped off. Um, he's got a little bit of a fever, but um, I don't think it's anything to worry about. Why don't you phone me? Well, I thought it best to ring Darren. Just in case, and he can maybe overreact to just a little bit. Better safe than sorry. Uh, look, we'd better be off there, eh? Why didn't you call me? I think you'd be interested, not after this afternoon. Bye. I'll see you out. How's it coming? Bye. See you, thank you. I'm sure she was drunk. Maybe she did overreact a bit. She's ever had with me, Dad. And he certainly put her through it. Hmm. Why is he doing this to us? Just help me, Shelley. Help me. Nothing. Well, you've been a good friend. You got me back. Night, Jackie.